All right, welcome back. And today we are going to do a question called arithmetic binary tree. You are given a binary tree representation of an arithmetic expression. In this tree, each leaf is an integer value and a non-leaf node is one of the four operations plus minus multiplication division. Write a function that takes this tree and evaluates the expression. All right, so we have an example here. We have a multiplication and then we have two plus signs here. So essentially what you want to do is you want to add these two together. 3 plus 2, that equals 5. And then 4 plus 5, that equals 9. So then 9 and then we have 5 and 9. And then later on what you want to do is you do 5 multiplied by 9 and that gives you 45. So yeah, so here's a representation of the expression. So essentially it's just just parentheses whenever you go down the tree that's basically what's happening so this question is actually pretty simple uh if you know like your fundamentals of understanding recursion this should be extremely simple so yeah so how you how you begin to do this is um you just recurse on the left side and then you recurse on the right side because the key about recursion is you pretend that everything is already solved imagine if you already have the function evaluate solved then you solve your left you solve your right so all you have is a number now right and now that you have a number what do you do you're gonna do the multiplication because that's all that's left to do right so let me show you visually how that works so imagine First of all, imagine I'm on this node right now. I'm on the root node. Then all I want to do is I want to solve my left part, which is this part, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve the left part. And then because I see a multiplication, I'm going to multiply by the right part. So then I'm also going to solve the right part, right? Something like this, right? Conceptually. And then what happens in the solve left? Then we isolate it and we look at here. So it's the same thing we do here. And then when we solve, so imagine now this guy is the root. Imagine these things don't exist, right? So we're not thinking about that. We're just thinking about these two guys. Then it's very simple because you're going to do the same thing. Solve left. And then you're going to add it. And then you're going to solve right. Now, we all have a base case. The base case is that they're actually leaves, they're numbers. So once they're numbers, that's pretty easy. That's just a three, and then you also have a two, right? So once you solve left, that becomes three, and then you're just gonna add solve right, which is equals to two, and that gives you five. So that means solve left, which is this guy, which was here, would end up popping five for you. And then you're gonna multiply this with whatever this is. So then we're gonna do the same thing. This becomes a root. You're gonna look at these two numbers. You get four plus five, that gives nine. And then this becomes nine, and then you just multiply by it. So that's pretty much recursion. All you have to do is say solve left, and then look at my node, what it is, and then solve right. And then the base case is if you see a number, then it's just a number, right? Cool, cool. So that's pretty much it. And then now let's talk about the time complexity. So the time complexity of this is O of n. And the reason is because you have to go through all the nodes anyways, and there are n nodes. All right, what about space? So because we do recursion, we have something called a call stack. So because call stack, okay? So what's the maximum depth you can go? Because we're always, whenever we call recursion, we're gonna be here, then we're gonna call here, and then we're gonna go here, then we're gonna pop and go back to this guy and then go here and then pop all the way here and go here. So that means the height is the maximum. So the height, the height. So it would be O of log N because this is a balanced binary tree and the height is basically log n. All right, cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let's uh, let's code it up. So here, um, like we said, there is a base case. Uh, the base case um, will be if it's uh, just a number. So what we can do is we're gonna deal with all the um, the operations first, and then at the end, if it's just a number, we're just gonna return the value. Cool. So then what we're going to do here is first, if the value is a plus, oh yeah, we already defined the plus minus times right here. 
So, okay. So because we're Python, it's a little bit easier because value can be a, a string or a number. So then it'll just uh, do it automatically. But you maybe if you're C++, you kind of have to do something different. Okay, anyways. So that we're gonna return. So it's gonna be pretty much the same thing for everything. So you're gonna return, evaluate left, which is like I said, when you solve left, and then you add it because you have the plus here. Evaluate root right. And then that's pretty much it. And then you do that for every other operation. Okay. Okay, so we have minus, we have times, and we have divide. So then we're just gonna match these. Multiplication and division. And then that's pretty much it. So let's see if it runs. All right, perfect, it gives, it gives us 45. Imagine if you wanna change a number. Uh, let's do something easy like three. So three plus three, six, six times nine is 54. Yeah, and we get 54, so that's pretty good. All right, so that's pretty much it for this question. Um, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.